We will not rest until this well is shut, the environment is repaired, and the cleanup is complete. So what you got instead is this new commission, presidential commission, loaded with environmental experts who know nothing about oil and gas. They are not going to be in a position to judge a safety program modification for several months, if ever. And when they come out with their recommendations, they're not going to have any credibility with the industry. They're viewed as a kangaroo court. The rig contract is a marketing their rigs worldwide. And uh, we're gonna, rigs will start leaving the Gulf of Mexico very soon, if it, especially if uh, this appeal is granted or, or, or a new moratorium uh, comes into place or whatever. Uh, we're, we're going to start losing rigs quickly and they may not be back for several years. It's going to impact our fishermen the hardest, the people that are being hit the hardest right now. It's also going to probably punch a billion dollar hole in the state budget and then the ripple effect will, of this will be felt across the entire nation. The hundred million that has been put up uh, to uh, take care of the, the economic effects of that will last about a month, maybe five weeks at the most. It's going to have more of an impact than the actual oil leak itself because each rig has about 250 people that work on it. Then you have boats that service it, so it has a very uh, major ripple effect. Not only does Louisiana provide 30 percent of the seafood to the lower for domestic seafood to the lower 48 states, we also provide about a third of the oil and gas to this country. And you know we're either going to be, become more dependent upon foreign fuel or we're going, to the, we're going to see the price of fuel go up across this nation and every consumer across America is going to feel that.